Welcome back to Tizo TV. Today is a different video. We're diving away from the sports side of things. We're going to be talking about some crypto, crypto talks. But this is just going to be a little, a little tutorial really about how I deposit onto KuCoin. But with KuCoin, essentially you can deposit straight from your bank account onto KuCoin, but they just charge a little fee. And one of my friends did it the other day, and he sent me a screenshot. He's like, "What? Why do I get charged?" I was like, bro, I told you, Tether, USDT only. I'm going to show you guys how I go about doing that, yeah? So for the purpose of this video, I've hidden all my accounts, DLs, etc, etc. So first you go onto Binance, deposit, obviously, yeah. Great Britain pounds because I live in England and I just know about pounds, so I deposit pounds. You can either choose to connect your bank card, but you get charged 1.8% fee and that, that doesn't make sense to me. So I just do the faster payments. Literally just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to put on about 20 quid. I don't really want to buy nothing. I don't even want more money into my um, exchanges right now, but just for the purpose of this video. So the first process, deposit it onto Binance account. After that, then you convert it into USD Tether. After that, you get the Qcoin wallet address. After that, you send it over. I'll show you guys now. So first of all, we start off with the depositing. Cool. Continue, faster payments. It'll tell you, then it's a funds from bank account under your own name. It'll tell you the full name. And it'll tell you the receiver payee beneficiary name must be, because you're setting it up as like a payee. So you have all your details, the sort code, account number, the reference code. And you now go onto your banking app. Face ID. And then, um, Choose you to pay, search for the Binance amount. You put the amount that you want to pay in. Like I said, I'm just putting in a quick 20 pound. And make sure all the details are coming, like all the details are matching because if you don't have that um, reference number, your money's not coming. So cool, I've sent the payment from my bank account to Binance. That should take about 10 minutes or something. A few moments later. Okay, so now the money's come onto your account. Go on GBP just to double check. Obviously, cool, it's £20 I put on. Now, cool, go on trade, convert. GBP into USDT Tether. Max, it'll come up with 20. Preview conversion, convert. Cool. Now you've converted your money into Tether. Yeah. So you go back to the wallets, USDT, Tether. Now you want to go, now you want to basically get the Tether from your Binance account, Coinbase account, Crypto.com, any wallet into the KuCoin. Yeah. So you go withdraw. And it's asking you for an address, the network, the amount you want to withdraw, and then you can withdraw it. So you go into KuCoin because there's a, there's a main and there's a trading account. The main account is just where the money automatically goes to when it comes into your account. And then the trading account, when you push the money from the main to trading, you can now start buying assets. So you want to deposit from Binance onto KuCoin. So you want to click deposit on the KuCoin side. Yeah, you got the ERC20, TRC20, EOS, Algorand. I, I, I normally just use TRC20 as it's the cheapest one. Copy address, it says copy successfully. Paste it, the network should automatically just come up as the network that was selected in um, the KuCoin app. If it doesn't, you can, you can choose the network yourself and then click TRC20, make sure the networks are both the same on each app, otherwise you'll lose your money. Okay, and then max. And then you see you will get 26.5144 USDT. Transaction fee is one USDT. So withdraw, boom, boom, confirm. Over here, you'll just need to do your code confirmation. So have it. You've now submitted from Binance onto KuCoin. There we have it, KuCoin notification. USDT has been sent from Binance to KuCoin. Cool, now we've got our USDT on our KuCoin, yeah. You see how it says 1% in the main account and then 98% in a trading account. 
that just shows you that the trading account has most of your assets but there's something in the main account so to get from the main to the trading you click on you either click transfer at the top when i click transfer it's going to show all my assets i'm not really trying to show that so you can click on the usdt itself and then click on transfer and then click all it will transfer from the main to the trading account after you do it a couple of times you get used to it and it just becomes simple let's just say you're using this video for the first time you probably have zero percent in your trading account so your main account will be 100 percent. so you want to just transfer everything from the main to the trading now you've transferred everything from the main to the trading cool my one will look a bit different because i've already bought a few things but my usdt is there um the 20 pound amount and then i can just go on the home page go to the top and start searching coins or I can go to markets. I have my favorites already there. There's USD, there's BTC, um, KCS coins, alts, DeFi, NFTs, Polkadots, like the KuCoin gives you a different range of things you can just search through or you just search yourself if you have a specific coin you're looking for. And yeah, that's literally how I go about depositing money onto KuCoin. That was just a quick one. And I hope that helps anybody that's had any issues or trouble finding their feet around KuCoin. I know it can be a bit difficult because you might be used to maybe the, the more simple ones like Crypto.com and Coinbase. Personally, I never really jumped on those two. Just went straight into Binance because one of my friends suggested I should. And to be fair, it was the graphs and all that stuff is a bit overwhelming at the start. But the more you get into it, the more you research and do what you need to do, it, it's, it gets easier and KuCoin I feel like it's a baby Binance that's what me and my friends call it a baby Binance so it's a bit simple it's a bit easier to grasp it's stuff like Uniswap that was a bit hard and techier to get into at the start but that'll be for another video anyways if we're going to talk about Uniswap but um, if you've got any questions or anything you want to know just let me know put it in the comments message me on my socials my social medias in the description below and it'll be on the screen so yeah just anything just let me know i sometimes post some stuff on my snapchat my twitter about what i'm investing in what i'm looking at so yeah obviously always do your own research and do your own diligence it's important because you don't want to be putting money into something with blind faith or trusting the word of other people and the next thing you know you've lost money and like I said I'm not a financial advisor that's why I don't really tell people what you should be doing or what you shouldn't it's all on you and what you can afford but anyways thank you very much for watching my youtube video smash the like button subscribe share comment yeah man let me know what other content you want to see I've got way more content coming I put my life in a disc I'm really tryna grind with my nicks I'm really tryna grind for this shit I want a house on the hills It really ain't nice till we live